If you've turned on the local news lately, you've seen story after story about shootings and violence. And one local man, Jonathan Smith, is tired of hearing these stories. He wants to promote positivity. And so he's here with us today to talk about a documentary that he's promoting. And Jonathan, just tell us, what was the tipping point? What made you want to create this documentary? Well, the tipping point for me is um, I had a friend named Andre Watson that was murdered. I believe he was the second murder in Lynchburg. I believe the first one was a young man that went to Heritage. And um, it just started to, you know, hit home when you're seeing people that, you know, didn't live a certain lifestyle, you know, um, had kids. And so I felt like by me building a platform that I was responsible uh, for getting a good word out there and trying to change and put some positivity out in, in the atmosphere in the community. We're here also with your creative de director, Kron. So you've been behind the camera, working these interviews, everything like that. Talk about some of the production process. <laughs> it's been the journey with Jonathan, my cousin. He's my older cousin. Uh, we've been in and out as far as creating content. I think the content's varied from fitness to uh, motivational type of work. And now we're uh, uh, composing this documentary, which is something that's very close to a social ill, and it, like you said, it hits home. So uh, it's been it's been you know heart tugging, mm -hmm. you know, because I knew people who had been in the midst of gun violence, yeah. and for us to actually promote or create something that's going to, I hope one day save lives mm -hmm. as well as change many, both on both ends of the mm -hmm. trigger. Uh, it's you know breath of fresh air, and I. I'm glad my life is starting to go in this direction because otherwise I would have been not saying along the sides with those people, mm -hmm. but probably just being a, you know, a spectator, just letting it all happen yeah. rather than joining forces yeah. with him and making a change. Mm -hmm. So it's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely important to use the platform and the voice that you have. So who have you been interviewing? Who do you talk to in this documentary? Um, so we've talked to uh, a young lady, uh, I believe she was on, lived in the heart of uh, Virginia, who was a um, sufferer from uh, domestic violence. We've also talked to uh, a couple of people from the community who've moved from out of town, came to Lynchburg. Um, we're hoping to talk to someone from the Lynchburg Police Department. Um, and we're also hoping to talk, you know, to people who have been the, somebody who may have committed violence, mm -hmm. who has a change of heart now. So you can understand the, the duality mm -hmm. of violence and how it affects many people. And like I said, you have a very big platform. You have a podcast, YouTube channel, fitness instructor, all kinds of different things. So talk about your past and sort of what led you up to this point. Well, you know, at, you know, when I had a, when I was a teenager, you know, you kind of go through a lot and you realize that you have two, two ways to deal with it. You know, is this going to help, you know, kill me or is this going to help build me? And I believe now what you're seeing, like a lot of depression, a lot of suicide, especially in the teenage realm, is up to you to use that stuff to actually empower you. And I believe that I've chosen to let a lot of things like past injuries with fitness. I've chosen to let these things empower me. And not only that, me empower the people by sharing that actual story. So that kind of sparked everything. Yeah. And when is this documentary going to be released? We would say winter. Yeah, we're, we're aiming for winter. I know it's a lot of work, but that's what we're going to set on. We're going to set that goal and keep it. And really quick, at the end of the day, what do you hope this film accomplishes? I hope lives are saved. I hope lives are changed, you know, one life at a time. For more information about Teflon John, you can visit him on his YouTube page, I am Teflon John, or visit him at IamTeflonJohn.com, or tune into his podcast, The Art of Reinvention, on Facebook.